victories. Flames have beaten the Isles seven of their last ten meetings. There's Cal Clutterbuck. It's his 36th birthday today. Playing in his 999th career game. He'll re reach the 1,000 game mark later this, or next week rather, in a game at home against Philly. Mackenzie Weger had a goal last game of the win over Vancouver. Flames D has scored seven goals last seven games. This one is underway at Scotiabank Saddle. On Hockey Night in Canada, Rick Ball with Greg Millen in the broadcast. Calgary changing. Greer dumps the puck in. Pospisil on it with a pass to Kadri. Shoots, put it wide. Pospisil, he shoots, turned away by Sorokin, and he's able to gather in the rebound and hang on. There. And a good chance for this line, who have been so good for the Flames the last number of weeks. Islanders back on the attack, but Hannafin picks the pocket. Of Wallstrom, and now it's Pospisil with a bit of roll. Pospisil right in, scores! A beauty by Pospisil, and it's one of the Calgary. All over it, but first of all, the Flames have been doing this all game long, breaking the cycle. There they break it. Zary with a nice little chip. This best line, a little play off the boards, and then Pospisil, what goal. Oh my, I mean, he outweighs Sorokin and then throws it right up high. He's got a rolling puck, which helps him, and he just lifts it right over the goalie, and a beautiful play. What a pass by Kadri to use the boards. Pellick with the clear. See Simone under pressure. Clutterbox there, bouncing puck comes free. Here's a shot, the score! Bashing fires at home and ties it up at one as Hudson Fashing gets his first of the season. Coming off the boards, I believe, yep, on a change. So he's just going to come waltzing right in from the bench. And there is the play that works in the half boards. And the Flames really never get sorted out defensively after the giveaway on the boards here. Sharon Govich and De Simone right there. And there comes Fashing off the bench. And the puck ends up on a stick. Pretty good shot as he changes the angle on Markstrom. And that gets you going through the neutral zone. Second period underway. Cattery able to win the draw with some help. And the Flames control off the opening faceoff. Our play's been much better of the special teams. They've scored four in the last two games on the man advantage. They're going to work here. Dobson fakes passing. One timer pass. Hey, Score on the rebound. Paul Mary puts it in. Came right back up, but hit the back of the net. It is a power play goal, and Kyle Paul Mary gives the Islanders their first lead. Well, first of all, you win the draw. And he's really the catalyst, because you're worried about his shot to begin with. And so he'll get, they'll get it back to him eventually. Here it comes. And then he'll fake the shot. So everybody's thinking he's going to shoot. And he sets up the one timer, and then Paul Mary, who's one of the better players in the game at picking up pucks in the crease area. And he just picks up the rebound off the pad of Markstrom. Pellick. Over to Dobson. Here's a giveaway, they score! Anderson gives the puck right to Matthew Barzell, who fires it home, makes it 3-1 Islanders. It's a really tough play for a goalie, because it all of a sudden just arrives, and you're not even set. And off the faceoff here, the Islanders win it. It's four on four. Anderson's in front, and he's just trying to tip it to his center iceman, but he ends up throwing it. Third and four for the Islanders. They were in Vancouver on Wednesday and Seattle on Thursday. Here's Holmstrom cutting in. Pat C. Markstrom checked in. Wallstrom muscles the puck back outside the zone. Bad ahead quickly. Back under the line. Huberto in front. Great save, Sorokin. What a tip by Huberto on the setup by Backlund and Sorokin. Best stop of the night for him. Back comes Backlund. Huberto hits De Simone. Cuts wide. They score! Coleman puts it in. And it's a one goal game. The Flames give it away. Backlund, as I mentioned, likes driving in the middle. This is a great play by De Simone by Di Simone as he just waits, 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 draws everybody towards him. Coleman goes to the net with a stick down, and we got a 3-2 hockey game. Beautiful goal. 
the other way. And let's not forget a couple of big saves by Markstrom when it was 3-1. To clarify, the Coleman goal came with three minutes left in the period. The 17 3 mark, so all the way around to Rasmus Anderson. Kadri. Zeri comes away with a puck. Weger sets up for the one timer, scores! Hits something in front. Might have gone off an Islander. It off. Bengal dropped it off. Nelson feeds it over. Tipped across. Far side for Kyle Palmieri. Romanov with a shot. Stopped by Markstrom. By Markstrom. Right off the draw. Pass across to Pollock with a shot. That changed direction. Tucic. Rebound. Puck loose. Cadre able to fight it off. Coleman able to get to it on the far side. Little flip pass finds Tanev at the point. Gets it through to Backlund with a shot, and that hit Mayfield in front. It's really starting to shorten the bench, getting that Cadre line out an awful lot here in the latter half of this third period. Palmieri by himself. Sharp angle stopped by Markstrom. Broken up by De Simone, but he can't gain entry. Barzell steals. Now Engvall works the puck in with Horvath. Stopped by Markstrom. Engvall on a fly. Markstrom with a... Holmstrom with a good look on a setup by Borzell after a turnover by the Flames deep in their own end. Another chance. Markstrom with the save. And the rebounds fire down the ice. Adam Pellick banks it to lead. Slows it down. Pass in front. And stopped by Markstrom as that chance by Wolfstrom. Might have caught the post too. A second to see if the puck was in or not. There's Hannafin down the wing with a shot. Here's Dubé now on the far side. Tanev, one-timer, got it into the legs of Mangiapane, and now it's cleared up by the Islanders, who have been close to making it 5-3 on multiple occasions here in the last few minutes. Pass back to Hannafin, shoots, they score! Hit something on the way by! Sharon Govich with the tip! Lindholm's been quiet all game long, but he does what he does best here, works to play on the boards, finds the open man, and Hannafin, who's really coming on offensively here, lets it rip, and I think that went straight in on Sor Sorokin on the short side. We'll have another look at it here, and, and it's Sharon Govich. Palmieri's broken his stick, five seconds left. Romanov will clear, and this game is headed to overtime. As the final seconds tick down, 4-4, 60 minutes. At that point. Backlund, Lindholm, Anderson up for Calgary. Pajot wins the faceoff. He's out there with Holmstrom and Pellet to start this overtime. Cadre, pocket pick, Barzell. Following up the pass for the win! Trying to go final. Rebound play in front. Can't do it. Backlund back on the attack. Backlund makes a move, throws it across, tipped in front, Huberto, stopped by Sorokin, got the arm on that one. Waiting for support, flips it to Backlund with some speed, Lindholm turns along the boards, slides it to Weger. Weger, that shot tipped wide as the final seconds wind down, and this game's headed to a shootout. Yegor Sharon Govich scored the equalizer, it's four for seven in his shootout career. Make it five for eight. What a beautiful move. Wow. Little delay waits. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's a pretty move. One for one this season in the shootout. Comes in with speed on Markstrom. Slows down. Scores. Nice shot. What Bo Horvat. Continue to go that speed. Now, what he does, he stops. That freezes the goaltender and gets him in tight. And then what a shot that was to finish it up. Connor Zeri starts round four of the shootout. Zeri. Saved by Sorokin. Right pad stop there for the Islanders goaltender. There's another crafty player. We watched that in moments ago when he went in on alone in Wallstrom. And Wallstrom, hey, a deeker? We'll see. Wallstrom has a chance to win it now. Oliver Wallstrom on Markstrom. Scores! Post 
blast it in and Wallstrom ends a seven game winless skid for the Islanders in round four of the shootout.